All right, coming up next, a UFC featherweight division fight. All right, so here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something right. And we talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot sweeps from the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next when the guy starts to defend, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he could take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So in have this matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the canvas. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tail of the tape for this featherweight fight. Four years apart with similar height and some differences in reach. All right, we send it back inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the man event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 143 pounds. Fighting out of Wilmington, North Carolina, Silky. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, Griffin rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, so back to your corners, come out fighting. You ready? You ready? All right, let's get this one started here. Round one is underway. We've got a striker who is a force to be reckoned with. Tonight, though, he draws a guy who can do a little bit of everything. And that guy is usually the one that will have the advantage. But we know what a high-level striker is, and this guy is as high-level as we've ever seen in the UFC. All right, early round one, we'll see if he can use that jab and try to keep his opponent on the outside. Must be nice for these long fighters, huh? I mean, they are able to touch you as you try to enter into range. Tonight, he needs to use his jab use his kicks to hit his opponent before his opponent can get into range to even start to think about striking. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? 
push. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Nice kick right there. Tell the masses how how good that feels to get kicked like that. Johnny doesn't. <laughs> it doesn't feel good to get kicked like that. Lee going for the head kick. No dice. Punch to the body is blocked. It's a good right hand right there. Big punch lands. Ooh. Over and over, he landed these big body kicks. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Under three minutes remain in round one. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Beautiful leg kick throw. Unable to land with that punch. Now connects with a right. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Identical twin, two is better than one. You might as well double up on the jab. He did so effectively there. Doubling up on the jab, and you see his opponent's head pop it back every time it lands. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect. So fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. That jab is fast. Look at that jab. Good night if that landed. Great punch. Tried to go through strike lands there. Somehow his opponent stayed up there. I mean, he's still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Nice hook lands. Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, that lead right hand is money tonight. Round two next. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, he's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. Beautiful knockdown. Wow, that could have been a 10-8 round for you. But we want to finish. So moving forward, we know this. All right, round two. Beautiful kick. Cut down the side with these beautiful leg 
right kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Slips. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends... Oh, fight thus far. How's his opponent still stand? I mean, I have no idea. This fight is supposed to be over. And it might not be over now, but it's going to be over very soon. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. And time. Hook shot attempt to the head here. Instead, it's blocked by Lee. Just missed with the left there. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Oh, and he caught the kick. And they separate. Cable inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots. And there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. And now he's got that tight clinch. Nice combination of knees in the clinch and to the body by Lee. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. Right hook to the head block. Try to establish that jab. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit, but this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse, you gotta play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit, he does a great job of that. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that jab. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. Ooh, what a punch. Punch coming. It's blocked. Big leg kick land. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Look at him drive his chin into the opponent's body with that body. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Another powerful kick there. A lot of volume with the feet tonight for him. It's unbelievable to watch somebody make kicking the base of their fighting style. He has shown us that it's possible. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Oh, that's a hell of a kick right there. He told us Thursday that he was going to be kick heavy tonight. And that is certainly a step in the right direction. He is landing that strike. He's very effective relax, with it. Relax. Keep your hands up for me now. Oh, big roundhouse attempt, but unable to land. <laughs> this fight's going to be over DC. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high when his opponent thought he was going low. Now he's got him hurt very bad. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. All right, lands a kick there. Pretty well done. Really good accuracy landing that kick. And that's the end of round number two. All right, that's the end of the round.
And our cameraman all over that cut on the cheek. That thing is getting wider by the minute and only getting worse. Cut man gonna earn his money tonight. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round. And he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's gonna stand there and he's not on his toes and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, DC, here we go with our next round, and we'll see if he can pick up where he left off. High volume of strikes landed in the previous round. High volume of strikes landed. He was able to be accurate, but also very, very active in his approach to the start of this fight. Good punch lands. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. Yes, they heard him in the last round. Same exact one. Big body kick land. He's tough as it gets, but how about the size of that bruise starting to form on his right side? Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Oh, that's a nice strike. Liver kick. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Well, no surprises. He connects once again, and that looked like it landed right on that cut. Right on the cut, and he's targeting it, right? He's looking. You can see him almost putting a laser beat on that cut and just putting his hands on it. It doesn't take much. Just keep making it split, showing his opponent that he has no mercy. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about this guy. He hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. Punch over the top. Big head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Beautiful body kick landed right under the elbow. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Just over three minutes to go now. Oh, good sequence there. The right hand followed by the left. Nice body kick. Looking to land the right just out of range. Big left hook coming is blocked. Well, you've got to admire the urgency here. He is trying to keep the judges out of it. Lighten up his opponent left and right. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Let's Let's go. Go. Slips the punch nicely there. Cash money with that right-hand counter. Nice punch, Lynn. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. He's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at focus in his opponent. Ooh, big shot lands. Ooh, knee to the head. They continue to exchange. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Gets caught with that punch. Oh, nice counter jab there. Can't take many of those, you better check. Keep your hands up. Oh, and he 
continues to pour it up. We mentioned earlier the aggression with his striking. Got to be careful to not gas out here, but at least you have to admire the approach. Liver kick. If you take those kicks, you're going to shut your body off. Trying to establish that jab once again. That's a big strike right there. Lee gets hit by that kick to the midsection. You got to do better defensively. Oh, ah, wicked ah, nice ah, leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. All right, so an entertaining five minutes. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and I'd imagine a lot of these replays are going to be rooted in that kicking game that was on full display. Absolutely. You're going to see a lot of different techniques, but the kicking was the key to him getting ahead in this fight. He's out ahead now. He needs to stay the course and continue to do that as the fight goes on. All right, so the next round is underway. Will it be more of the same? And by that, I mean all of those strikes to the body. You've got to think at some point the opposition is going to lower that guard or get finished. And that's exactly what he is hoping for. All those great body shots, all that damage he's putting on his opponent will force an opening up top where he will look to finish. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. And they separate. Nice kick. Lee's all sorts of bruised up on his body. That is going to hurt something fierce tomorrow. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Head kick lands. Nice knee to the midsection there. Oh, he landed another great shot to the body there. Really starting to connect at a high percentage now in the latter stages of this fight. That strike blocked by Lee. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, nice knee to the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work will pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Well, don't get mad, get even, right? He got stunned by his opponent earlier in the round. He's clearly been losing since. Mentally, it appears as though he's checked out a little bit. A lot easier said than done. When his opponent has the power that he possesses, it's hard for him to say, you know what? I'm going to take one and give one. And he caught the kick. Partially blocked. Nice head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Caught that kick there. A little struggle. Oh, John, that was so nice. What a beautiful kick. Close guard. Oh, nice 
Nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Well, the ground and pound has been on point tonight. Good work here by Lee. Well, he gets up again here, but he looks hurt. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Five seconds remain in the round. He's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Hands high, hands high. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. Just out of the range with that right hand. What a punch. Ten seconds remaining here in round four. Watch the shot to the body. All right, let's get you a replay from that previous round. It was the big knockdown courtesy of that kick that, that nearly closed the show for good. It almost closed the show, but nothing's more discouraging than when you get somebody hurt that bad and you don't shut the door. He has to go back to work now knowing that he's got about as tough a guy as, if, as he's ever had in front of him in the octagon tonight. Striking is unbelievable. You're mixing it up perfectly. I love what you're doing with the kicks. Keep those going. He's slowing down. All right, next round is now underway. DC, any major takeaways after the previous five minutes? That both of these guys are very evenly matched. The matchmakers did a fantastic job when they put these two in the octagon. So even though it wasn't crazy, you got to see high-level mixed martial arts. Strong defense there to block the shot. Nice instincts. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. All right, so he's doing a nice job here controlling the center of the octagon, keeping his opponent on the outside. Oh, I love it, John. I love it. And watch how his foot looks like a compass. His lead leg will always point in the direction that he wants to go as he tries to cut off his opponent. It is unbelievable to watch. And it's so great to watch a man with knowledge of the octagon control as this young gentleman is showing. Pretty nice knee there, DC. Great job finding the opportunity to land that strike. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lee gets tattooed with that hook. Beautifully timed and placed. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Get your hands up higher. Come on. Straight punch lands. He's open for that uppercut. Let's go. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful set up to get his leg up there quickly before the opponent can react. Well, body language is a great indicator, and that is one confident man right there after a big knockdown in the previous round. He did everything right to secure that knockdown. Perfect setup with the hands. Got the knockdown. Let's see if he can go find the shot that's going to finish the fight. Let's get him down. Pinpoint accuracy on that kick. No wind up, no tell, just a brutal kick. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Lee's shot is blocked. He missed with that jab attempt there. Right hand upstairs. Went for the inside leg kick. Nice offering there with the knee. He talked to us a lot about that on Thursday. Felt like the knees would be there. It was certainly there on that exchange. He knew they would be available. He just knew he would have to find the right opportunity and right time to land those strikes. Cable right there, boys. Wow. It was 
good night if that landed. Under two minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the leg. So maybe you thought he would catch the leg and go for a takedown. Instead, he goes for the punch, and he certainly found the range on that one. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Pretty good right hand. All right, it's late in the fight now. I don't need to be a judge to tell you that he is clearly losing. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Hope finishes fight. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. Oh, that right hand is on point. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he is back up to his feet. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Good punch. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Final seconds of the fight. He gets the elbow up into the target. Just out of range with that kick attempt. All right, it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50-45. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, nice job by him there as he is your winner via unanimous decision. And sometimes I would think it's easier said than done to just leave the judges yeah. out of it. Dominant performance and he gets his hand raised. Yeah, and if you gotta go to the judges, leave no question, right? Be the person that is so dominant that you know you're getting your hand raised and did it.